Hello, I'm Natasha stott despoir Australia's Ambassador for Women and Girls. I'm often asked if it's possible to end violence against women, given how pervasive these crimes have been for centuries, across generations, cultures and communities. The question is especially pertinent now, as rates of domestic, family and sexual violence have not abated, despite efforts by government and civil society, by organisations and individuals to address this heinous manifestation of gender inequality. Indeed, there's been evidence of a rise in incidents in gender-based violence in some contexts. My response to the question, however, is yes, violence is preventable. On November 25, we commemorate the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and we welcome the start of 16 days of activism against gender violence. It's when we say this violence must be stopped. We know that globally, more than one in three women has been beaten, coerced into sex or abused in some way. In some countries, up to seven in ten women will be beaten, raped, abused or mutilated in their lifetimes. The use of rape as a tactic of war in Iraq, Syria and elsewhere, the trafficking of women into sexual slavery and domestic servitude, sexual violence against internally displaced women and girls, the kidnapping of schoolgirls in parts of Africa, attacks on girls for simply having the determination to catch a bus to school, the forced marriage of young girls, the daily horror of domestic and family violence in countries in the Pacific and in South Asia, and including Australia. These are but a few examples of the myriad appalling patterns of gender-based violence around the globe. A crisis of such proportions deserves the highest attention of world leaders. There can be no peace, no progress, while women live with the fear of violence. As Australia's Ambassador for Women and Girls, I'm proud Australia is placing this work centrally in our foreign policy and development agenda. In our region and beyond, Australia is pressing for an end to gender-based violence and we support survivors. We're saying loudly and clearly, there is no excuse for violence against women and girls anywhere, anytime.